It's our job to continue to do our work at the highest level of quality and professionalism and truth-telling. The goal for today is for us to continue to think critically about our core democratic values. The big reason I chose journalism was my love for storytelling. Bestowing these awards is among the most meaningful things that NLP does each year. They not only recognize exemplary individual achievement and contributions, but also the vital role that scores of educators and journalists play with us as valued partners and the transformative impact that together we're having on students like Kristen. It's up to me as a future filmmaker to do my due diligence before I can put content out there for others to view. If everyone went through Checkology, I think the world would be much more informed. What should the government's role be? In Gwen Ifill is one of the most respected journalists of her generation, a broadcast pioneer and a national treasure. She served on NLP's board for five years before we all lost her much too soon in 2016. This award is presented to a female student of color who has learned and applied news literacy lessons from their work with NLP's resources and represents the values that Gwen exemplified. Kristen, it is my honor to present you with the Gwen Eiffel Student of the Year Award. Thank you to Alan and the News Literacy Project for naming me Gwen Eiffel Student of the Year. It's truly an honor to be able to continue in her legacy. Patricia Hunt has set the gold standard as the first recipient of our Educator of the Year Award. In 2016, I began to pilot Checkology in my classroom and I was instantly hooked. We decided to recognize an educator who has demonstrated a commitment to integrating news literacy resources and tools in their curriculum throughout the year. Checkology allows for us to create this common set of standards for what information is worthy of their attention. Patricia. It is my honor to present you with our inaugural Educator of the Year Award. Thank you, Alan. Thank you, News Literacy Project. This is quite an honor. Thank you. John Carroll was one of the most revered newspaper editors of his time and was a founding member and later chairman of NLP's board. After John's death in 2015, we decided to honor his memory and contributions to NLP by creating this award. He was really making lemonade out of lemon. I'm Indira Lakshmanan of Bloomberg News. Indira Lakshmanan is an outstanding journalist who's had a long career as a foreign and national correspondent. This is about distrust and verify. Everyone she did a superb well. job leading our revised Understanding Bias lesson last year. What exactly is bias? News At NLP's bias invitation, she did a presentation on news literacy at the National Council for the Social Studies Conference in Austin last November and partnered with Marty Barron on a keynote session about journalism. Journalism, just like educating young people, is a public service. As a parent and as a journalist, I don't see any other piece of education that is more important than letting kids understand bias inherent in news so that they're not influenced by news that may be false or misleading. Indira, it is my honor to present you with the John S. Carroll Journalist of the Year Award. Thank you so much, Alan, and the whole NLP team. It has been such um, an honor to get this award and a privilege to get to work with you and the next generation in teaching them about news literacy and the importance of reliable journalism to a healthy democracy and society. Thanks. In Indira, Patricia, and Kristen, we've chosen three individuals who have demonstrated and expanded the power and impact of news literacy in general and the work of NLP in particular. We are proud to be associated with each of them.